Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to be using Power Automate once again but for the purpose of sending us an email notification every time a new file is uploaded to a given document library. So what we've got on the screen at the moment is we can see a document library called Smith document and to start off with it's just completely blank. So this is going to be our document library in which we'll be adding our files to then trigger the email to send. You can see we've also got Outlook open ready to go, but more importantly, we'll jump straight into Power Automate so that we can create this flow. So as you'll see, we'll use it, we're not using desktop, we're using Power Automate in the cloud, uh, which may be more suitable uh, depending on what you're using, uh, but hopefully you can obviously use this video regardless to help give you an indication on what you need to do. So once we're here, all you need to do is go into My Flows and then simply go New Flow, and we'll say automated cloud flow. So you would have seen in our previous videos, uh, and if you haven't seen those and you'd like to, the link to the playlist should be on the screen somewhere now. Uh, we previously used things or the scheduled cloud flow. So this would schedule at a given time. For us, we want to do it based on an automated trigger. So all I'm gonna do is click automated cloud flow. We also give it a name and we'll call it new uh, SharePoint file and of course as you, I'm, I'm sure you're all aware when it comes to naming whether it's a flow or anything at all we obviously want to be as descriptive as possible and we shall call this a new well not call it sorry we're searching for what trigger we want new file created and when we scroll through our list of options you can see it's been filtered we want this one here so when a file is created and if I hover I hope you can see it uh, when a SharePoint, when a file is created, properties only. So all we want is just the property information from the file. So we should select that and then we'll go on to create. So of course, the first thing it's gonna do is want us to provide some more information to this initial trigger. So for all we're gonna do is go into site address. We only have one uh, SharePoint site, but you may have multiple in which you need to select from. And then when it comes to the library name, all we're gonna do is select our submit document. Uh, and as we can see, that's the document library we have open here. After that, we don't need to provide anything else. All we need to do is now go into new step. And simply when a new file is created and it's got the property information, we just want to do send email. And when we search for that, we're going to need to look down is here. Ah, okay, so we've got a couple of options. So we're going to be using send an email, this one you see here. Alternatively, if you're trying to send an email from a shared mailbox, this is the option that you're going to be wanting here. Both very similar. So again, if you're using this option, you can still follow along this video to get the needs, uh, your, the need you, the information you need, sorry. Uh, but we are going to be just using this because it's coming from a personalized uh, or personal Outlook email. You can see I've got an error here, but this may or may not be an issue to you. All I need to do is just make sure I'm referencing the right account. And you can see that error has now gone. So the first thing I'm gonna do in here is obviously provide an email address to which I want to send our email, which I've just now entered in there. And then the next thing we want to do is provide a subject for this email. So let's go for new file dash uh, submit uh, document. So again, your SharePoint document library is probably gonna be far more descriptive than mine, but simply it's just a simple subject that shows there's a new file uh, and this is the document library it's been received to. But of course you could make that a, a lot more um, glamorous than what I've done there. And all I'm gonna put in here is, hello, uh, a new file has been uh, created in document library. And again, you don't need to do all this text. I'm just trying to really pad it out just to give examples of what you can do. Um, submit document. And then let's now just put some of our dynamic, dynamic content in here. So we'll say, we'll call it, what's the file name? Maybe we're interested in this. So we shall, having clicked in here, you can see it's automatically popped up with our dynamic content. And as you know, all of this is the information that's been captured uh, at this very first trigger. So all I'm gonna do is scroll down and we should be able to see uh, the option for name. Yeah, so we can see the file name. So we'll select name. We'll do another couple of new rows. And let's say we'll also get in here the, uh, I don't know, uh, who it was created by. So created by 
And then we should have somewhere here created by, yep, there you go, display name. And then what you might want to do at the end here is go maybe, no, we'll, we'll leave it for that and we'll come back to the next example. So this is all our information that we've entered. So all I'm gonna do now is click save. And you see it's saving, perfect. So it's now recommending that we test this flow. So we'll go top right over here, click on test, manually test. And yeah, to see it work, start, uh, perform the starting action, which is obviously add a new file. So what we'll do is we'll go into our analytics uh, document library and we'll simply upload a file. And let's go into desktop, one I've got prepared. And we can see we've got a very important document here. So we'll add that into there. And hopefully that'll upload for us. Perfect, so we can now see we have a new document added to this library. So if we now go into our share, uh, not our SharePoint, sorry, our Outlook folder, we can now see that we've got a new email that's been received here. So if we click on this, we can see our nicely populated email, uh, which got all our detail that provided. So we can see the subject line is new file submit document. Hello, new file has been created in document library. What is the file name? The file name is important document. Uh, yes, we confirm that is the case. And also we can see that it was created by me. So great, so we can now stop there and obviously we can say tick, we've got our uh, flow in place and we're gonna be notified every time a new document is created. However, there's one little extra trick that you can do on here to make it a bit more dynamic with the user. So obviously you may want to include a link. So it's great someone gets this email and they could navigate to the this document library, but I want to now add a link in here which will take the recipient of the email straight to that document. So what we're gonna do is just go into here and we'll just delete this file uh, just so we can start with a blank canvas again. And we'll go into our Power Automate and we'll go into Edit. So from within our uh, the email uh, content uh, that we can see in here, all I'm gonna do at the bottom is, you see on the top right here, we've got this code view. So I'm just gonna click on code view. And in this view, we can now see the actual uh, HTML code of the email. So if you're familiar with HTML, obviously you can tidy this up to your heart's content to make it look uh, as tidy as possible. But for me, all we're gonna do, and again, don't crucify me for maybe doing this wrong, but we're gonna add a simple piece of HTML. So this is like a little extra top tip, which will allow you to add a hyperlink to some text and that hyperlink obviously being the link to our document. So all we need to do here, and you can just copy this as, as I type it, is a href f like that equals and then we need to do a double quotations and this is going to be the link so for example we might want to put in here uh, w.google.com and let's go at the end here and uh, we need to do a close and our text is going to be here and let's then do a, another close of all this stuff and talk through what we've done. So at the moment, you can see we've got this line of code here, href google.com here. What this would do if we were to send this is you would simply get the, uh, the single four characters for the word here, but it would be hyperlinked. So if you were to click on it, it, it would take you to google.com. Well, we don't want to go to google.com. What we actually want to do is we want here to link to our document specifically the one that has just been created. So all we're gonna do is remove the word Google here. And as we scroll down through our dynamic content, you will see there is an, uh, the detail of the link to item. There you go, so link to item. So we'll literally select and add that there. And the last part we're gonna do is just add a bit of text to the front of this. So let's go, let's write the word click. And then the other side of this, we'll go here to view document. So a couple of extra bits just to be wary of there. Um, obviously I've included a space after the word click here, just so click here isn't one word. And likewise, you've got that at the end here, just in front of the two. So what this should now give us is in addition, in addition to all this other content, we will have a line that says click here to view doc document. Here will be a hyperlink so they can click on the word here to then view that document. So let's save this. And once it's saved, just obviously thinking about it now, Perfect, ready to test. So we'll go back into test, manually, test. And then when prompted, great. Yeah, we can see perform the action. So we'll go back into our SharePoint document library, upload that same file once again, our important document, open. 
Great, so we can see that that now has loaded in there. If we now go into Outlook, we can see this is obviously our original format for our email. So we've literally just got our first line of text, the document name and who it was created by. But as we can see, we've received a new email. So let's click on that. We can see we've got all of our original content here, but we've also got this additional line saying, click here to view document. So if we click on here in a new tab, the document will now open. So you can see it's an important document. And yet there's no content within this, uh, this uh, file. This is just a test document, but you can see the real value that this now adds. So obviously the recipient of this email has now got a link to the document. So if they need to have a look at it, they can obviously check it like so. Of course, we've just gone for a very basic template at this stage, and you can add as much detail detail of the file as you require. Uh, but again, this is just a really useful way to use Power Automate as a way of notifying people once a document is added uh, for various reasons, whether it's for approval, or maybe that individual now needs that information to do a piece of work. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a like. It's obviously not only greatly appreciated by me, but helps the all-important YouTube algorithm to enable more people to hopefully find our videos. If it's the first video you've seen or you've watched our videos in the past and you've still yet to subscribe, please can I ask you to subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell notification button. That way you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out in the future. As always, if you have any questions about this video, just drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.